Welcome back to Dave's Shed. We had a house guest come and stay for a while, so I built them a queen size bed. Stick around and I'll show you how I did it. So first I had to do some research to find out what the dimensions are of a queen size bed. Then I did some hand sketches of how I was going to build it and how I was going to assemble it. Uh, I then put in my dimensions for each part. And then from that I was able to work out a cut list and a list of what materials I should order. I was also going to make some drawers but uh, I still have not got around to doing that. So my local timber merchant dressed and delivered clear pine for me. So using my plans I cut out all the parts and then started assembling those into frames using pocket hole joinery. The initial inspiration for the way this bed is designed came from Steve Ramsey's uh, project but I've just taken that concept and, and made my own design to my own dimensions and I made it a lot stronger uh, partly because I just I tend to over engineer everything. I've also uh, put a, planned to put in a whole lot of drawers so it's all design ready for some drawers uh, but as I mentioned earlier on I never I still haven't got around to building the drawers themselves. This has three parts so there's a left and a right frame so you're seeing the construction of one frame and then there's a there's a there's a sister frame to that and there's a base that goes underneath it and then that's uh, slats on top of the whole thing so you'll see that unfortunately I didn't get any video of the construction process uh, so we're gonna have to make do with photos this whole thing is screwed together screwed and glued together so it's a good example of the extent of things you can do without any fancy joinery just simple pocket hole joinery uh, to hold it all together I built the drawer runners but I was running out of time so I didn't build the drawers I just built the drawer fronts which is my only my second go at upholstery and it came out quite well. I used carefully cut spaces to make sure everything was positioned evenly. This is the base being made upside down. It's a frame on a hardwood plywood panel that's very strong, also very heavy. Uh, and then on top of the frame I've placed some felt, felt pads. So although the whole thing is quite heavy it actually slides around the floor very easily so that you can make the bed. And then I've moved each piece with the help of my, my wife, I've reached each piece into the room and after this I've made a baseboard which I've upholstered and screwed from the inside to the foot of the bed. I then screwed slats all the way along the bottom of the bed uh, but by this stage I'm counting down to when I actually have to drive out to the airport and collect our guests so I was in a real rush and so I didn't get to video that so here's a quick look at uh, how that those slats have been placed and for a final twist I couldn't resist placing LED lights around the base uh, to give it this floating effect and they're controlled with a remote control. So you can go to bed and you can have this light on uh, which you can lie in bed and then turn off. So I hope this inspires someone to do something similar. Uh, if you like the video please like and subscribe because that encourages me to create more content for you.